This video walks through the solution to lesson four, practice exercise A, where you have a text file with some coordinates that looks like this. And you need to loop through those coordinates, parse them out, and then create a polygon out of it to create the shape of a US state. So this is a very basic list of coordinates. There's no header here. Uh, so we're just gonna blast right through it um, as if it's a CSV file with two columns and no header. In order to do this, we're gonna use ArcPy, which we import in line three, and the CSV module for Python, which we import in line four. In lines eight and nine, we set up some variables referencing the files that we're gonna work with in the script. So we're working with the mystery state shapefile that was provided for you. The, this shapefile is in the WGS84 geographic coordinate system. However, there's no shape or polygon within the shapefile yet. Uh, you're gonna add that. And then line nine references the path to the text file containing all those coordinate points. In line 10, we do a little bit of work to detect the spatial reference of the mystery state shapefile. We're gonna use that later when we start creating geometries. This pattern of using the describe method and then getting the spatial reference property should be familiar to you from your work in lesson two. In line 13, we open up the text file that has the points. So the first parameter with the open method is point file path, which we created in line um, nine. And then the second parameter is R in quotes, which just means we're gonna open it in uh, read mode. We're just gonna be reading it. We don't need to write anything to it. Then in line 14, we pass that file into the uh, CSV reader constructor so that we can create uh, a CSV reader object that will let us iterate through all the rows in the file in an easy fashion. Before we start doing that though, in line 18, we create an empty ArcPy array object. We know in this case, we're just gonna be creating one geometry. Uh, it's gonna be one polygon uh, with one array. So it's okay to create that array before we start looping. And actually we don't wanna create it inside the loop because then we would be creating multiple arrays and we just need one of them in this case. In line 21, we actually start looping through the rows in the file. Each row is gonna be represented here by a variable, variable called uh, coords. And so in line 24, we create an ArcPy point object. And when you create a point, you need at least the longitude coordinate, which is the, the X value, and the latitude, which is the Y. Now, while we, while we typically say latitude, longitude when talking about coordinates, it's important to remember that latitude is the Y value and longitude is the X. So when we're creating a point object, we wanna make sure that we supply the longitude first, then the latitude. Now, going back to our file, you'll see that in the first column or column zero, that's the longitude. So we have coords zero in square brackets in our code. And then the next piece is the latitude or the Y coordinate. And so that's the column with index one. So we use chords one in square brackets for the Y. Once we have that point, oops. Once we have that point, we can add it into the array. And we just keep doing that cycling through the file until we've added point after point until we've uh, gotten to the end of the file. Now in line 30, the loop is exited which we know because that line is not indented. And we're going to take the array that we made and make a polygon object out of it. So we use arcpy.polygon to refer to the polygon class. And the things we pass into the constructor in parentheses are the array itself and then the spatial reference for this geometry, which we, re we retrieve back in line 10. So we've got the polygon all set up, but we haven't added it to the shape file yet. In order to do that, we're going to use an insert cursor. In this case, we just use a very simple list statement to create the cursor. The insert cursor needs a couple of parameters in order to get started. It needs the feature class that we're going to mo modify, which is referenced by the variable shapefile. Remember, we created that back in line eight. And then there's this tuple of fields that we're going to modify. In our case, we're only gonna modify the geometry. 
We're not going to modify any attributes. So the way that we supply this tuple is it just has one item or token called shape with the at sign. And then our line 34 actually inserts the row. And it inserts just the polygon geometry, nothing else, as we described. When this is done, we should be able to go into ArcGIS Pro and verify that we indeed have a polygon inside of that shape file. Now, one little quirky thing to note about this code is in the last line, where I supplied my tuple of values corresponding to the tuple of fields associated with the cursor. When you're supplying just a single value, it's necessary to follow that up with a comma. If my cursor was defined with more than one field, say two fields, then my values tuple would not need to end in a comma. It's only when spec specifying just a single value that the values tuple needs this trailing comma. Now, up through ArcGIS Desktop 10.6, this was the way to create polygon or polyline geometries. At 10.6, it became possible to create these geometries using a list of coordinate pairs instead of an array object. So here is an alternative approach to uh, creating our mystery state polygon. Down through line 14, everything is the same. Then on line 18, note that I create an empty, a new empty Python list rather than a new object of the ArcPy array class. Then inside the loop, instead of creating an object of the point class and adding it to the array, I simply use the list append method to add a tuple representing the current coordinate pair. Finally, on the last line of the script, I go on to plug my list variable into the insert row statement instead of an array variable. So that's a little bit simpler approach to creating geometries, and you should feel free to use it if you prefer. Though either way will work, and you'll definitely see the array of points approach if you're looking at pre-10.6 uh, ArcGIS desktop geometry scripts.